In this video we're going to look at the stance, how to address the shot and delivering the cue in a straight line. Firstly, can I just say that exactly how you stand is very much a personal thing and what feels comfortable for you. All I'm going to do here is tell you how I do it and some of the key things to look out for. So let's look at how we address the shot. If you stand back from the table, you need to imagine a shot line that runs right from the point where you're aiming at, back to the cue ball and then extend that line back down onto the floor. In this demonstration I've put a piece of tape on the floor to represent this imaginary line. Then if you're right handed you step forward and place your right foot on that line. It's best if the foot is angled across the line with the line in the middle of the foot as this helps give you stability. You then walk into the shot, place your bridge hand on the shot line and get down to the table. Now how far forward the left foot is is very much down to what you feel comfortable with. A lot of snooker players will stand with the feet almost side by side with the body very square onto the table. I find this a little bit uncomfortable so I prefer to stand with the left foot further forward. The key thing here is to make sure that the stance is solid and balanced so that you can prevent any movement during the shot. Once the feet are settled then you get down into the shot. A lot of people stand too high on the shot and the problem with this is that they're giving a lot of room for the cue to move around from side to side as you deliver it. If you get down lower then you can use the side of your chest as a guide for the cue which stops it moving about. You don't want the cue pressed hard into the chest, just enough contact to help guide it in a straight line. Finally I then bring my chin into contact with the cue as a further guide. Again this needs to be very soft contact, you shouldn't be pressing down on the cue at all. At this point everything should be on the shot line. The bridge hand, the cue, the head, the edge of the chest, the back arm, elbow and wrist and finally the back foot. You can then feather a few times to make sure the cue is moving nicely back and forth on the line. Pause and then deliver the cue as straight as you can, keeping everything nice and still. So let's look at this a bit closer from side on. The swing is coming from the elbow on the back arm and ideally we want the forearm to be pointing straight down at the point of impact with the cue ball. This will enable us to have both a good amount of backswing and follow through. If you place the tip of the cue almost touching the ball and then look back at the forearm, it should be pointing straight down. If it's not, then you're probably holding the cue either too far back or too far forward. The elbow then pivots to swing the forearm back and forth in a pendulum motion. Our aim is to try and keep the cue moving backwards and forwards while staying as parallel to the table. The swing of the forearm naturally creates a bit of an arc, so we need to adjust the wrist as we go back and forward to try and keep the cue level. So again, if we're too high on the shot, then there's a tendency to move the upper arm, which will give unwanted movement. So use the chest to help stabilise things. And then do the same thing with the chin. Feather to make sure everything is smooth and straight, and then pause before delivering the cue as straight as you can, keeping everything other than the back arm as still as possible. Staying down on the shot until the ball has been potted is a great way to force yourself to stay really still. If we look at this from front on, you can see how everything is in line with the cue. It's important to keep the elbow on the same plane as the cue, so not tucked in too far and not sticking out either. If it is, then the swing of the forearm will not be on the same plane as the shot line, and this will cause you to cue across the ball. So to summarise, make sure everything is on that shot line, and check that the cue stays on the line as you deliver it. Any movement across that line and you'll miss the shot. Hopefully with these few pointers and lots of practice, you'll develop a comfortable and solid stance and be able to deliver the cue straight and consistently.